So today's quest guide is how to access Izanami's Forge. This is the third forge here in Black Armory. And there's essentially 11 quest steps in order to get there. For us, it took us about two hours. So yeah, guys, be prepared to devote some time to this thing. But upon gaining access to Izanami's Forge, you also gain access to the weapon frames for the bow and for the pulse rifle, both of which we will be reviewing this week. But let's get started on this quest. First up, guys, you want to go to Nest and start killing some Vex. We are looking for a Vex transponder and the best place that we found to kill Vex and where you're going to be at pretty much for the entire time is actually over there at Artifact's Edge. You've got some Vex that actually spawns to the left there of the spawn point but there's also a lost sector there called the Orrery. I think I'm saying that correctly but that also has a bunch of Vex inside of it. Now upon getting this Vex transponder the second step is is to get a hundred Vex kills. So same location, you've also got that lost sector there. It honestly took me two runs of that lost sector to complete this. Step three, complete the heroic public event in the Hallows, Spire Integration. Now it's a lot easier activating this heroic event when you have a fire team together. There's essentially three Vex platforms, those circular platforms that you have to stand in. Get those to a hundred each and that will activate the heroic public event. Remember guys, you wanna keep defending that interior as those Vex are trying to integrate with it. So just keep making sure while you're filling up those Vex gates that you're also killing the Vex too that are trying to get to that inside. Step four, defeat 20 Minotaurs. Now there's three ways you can do this. You can keep going to the Lost Sector, the Ori that we were at previously at Artifact's Edge and kill the Minotaur that's at the end of that. You can also just kill some random rogue Minotaurs and there are random Minotaurs that you can run into. The best way that I found is to keep doing the Spire integration public events. Try to make them heroic as that spawns more minotaurs and that can spawn from the hallows or that can spawn from watcher's grave as well as the tangle. It's just random guys. You'll just have to go there and wait to see if it's a spire integration public event or not. But it takes approximately two heroic public events to get all 20 minotaur kills at least for us. And you can do this with a fire team. Just make sure you all get a shot into the minotaur and you're good. Step five. Complete the mission, rekindle the flames. You'll actually see it marked there right next to the Hallows as the forge icon, and that's essentially where the forge is located. Very straightforward mission. You've got three Vex confluxes that you actually will unlock or free. Upon doing so, you'll have this big giant Minotaur spawn that you need to gun down. Step six, return to Ada. She will now require you to complete three heroic public events to collect certain components to fix the igniter. Now the three public events, you've got a glimmer extraction heroic that you have to complete to receive a falling component. So again, here, any glimmer extraction heroic public event will work. There happened to be one on the Tangled at Nessus that we completed, but there's also ones on the EDZ and elsewhere that you can also do. Now in order to activate the heroic public event for this one, at each glimmer extraction point you'll see these little metal things sticking out of the ground. I don't know what to call it, but you just want to go ahead and shoot it down. Do that for all three locations and now your glimmer extraction is a heroic event now. The second one is a witch's ritual to obtain a hive essence. You're going to want to load into the rig on Titan and go inside. You'll see the two hive platforms. You want to stand on each one of those. This will eventually expose those purple crystals and a Upon destroying each one of those crystals, you'll now turn this witch's ritual into a heroic public event. Now the third public event you need to do is another spire integration to obtain the Vex module. So the same thing as we did here earlier, guys, stand on those three platforms, get them to 100%, and it's now heroic. Now the three locations for all of these, again, guys, Hallows, Watcher's Graves, or the Tangle. All three locations found on Nessus. Just keep cycling between them until a Spire Integration public event pops up. Now, step seven, collect components to repair the Izanami Igniter. So the three components are Blended Ether, Condensed Blights, and Radiolorian Vapor. Blended Ether is very straightforward. You get precision multi-kills on Fallen to get Blended Ether. So pretty much any Lost Sector with Fallen in it is perfect for this. As you can just leave the Lost Sector and come right back to refresh it. Condensed blights. You're gonna actually need to collect five of these. We went to the Afix Conduit Lost Sector on Io. There's like one taken blight that spawns in there and we just kept leaving the Lost Sector and refreshing it. Now this doesn't require you to complete the Lost Sector. Just run in there, kill the blight, and run back out. You don't have to kill the boss or anything. Now Radiolorian Vapor. This is gonna require you to do a mission 
that's actually located next to the cistern on Nessus. It'll have a forge emblem on it. This one's actually a pretty fun mission. You just pop these little blue crystals in the air and they'll open up a platform that will allow you to jump from point to point. There is a time limit on those platforms, so be ready to be moving. I actually had to put on some stompies, so be prepared to put on something to allow you to jump better. Upon collecting all of these components though, you'll now receive step eight. Complete the Volunder Forge to repower the Izanami Igniter. Upon completing Volunder Forge, you'll return the Igniter to Ada for step nine, who will inspect it. Upon inspecting, she will require you to return to Nessus and to complete the advanced version of the Insight Terminus. So I on Nessus, you'll see that forge icon marking it. Load them into Nessus, head to the tangle, and start it up. At the end of this mission, you'll collect a Cabal component from the boss to fully repair the Izanami igniter. Now, step 10. It's time to fully reignite the Izanami forge, head back to Nessus, and start the forge quest. Now, this is not the forge activity itself. This is just a mission. But a big giant hydra will appear during this mission, and it will have a shield in front of it. But if you notice, there's like a button on either side. If you shoot those buttons, it'll actually rotate his barrier. So just rotate it until his crit spot is open, and then you can just gun him down. Now, now the final step guys return to ada after killing the hydra she'll give you the bow frame and full access to the izanami forge which completes our quest guide fellas and ladies thank you all for coming and watching and as always slap that like button like your mama told you right